So I want to give you just a little bit of heads up about what it means as a speaker for the Curating Jesus Stories. Now, as we continue this process, we're looking at at least 25 cities around the USA that we will travel to. We will set up a very similar event. We will bring our cameras. We will record testimonies of Jesus from these, these fantastic people who met him. Now, you may be asking yourself, what have I gotten myself into? Oh, you're going to have a blast. Don't let the pressure of being on camera in front of 200 million people be a big deal to you. It's not that big a deal. In fact, there'll probably be 20 or 30 people in the room who are staring at you as you're talking the whole time, looking you right in the eye, listening to every word very intently. Remember the greatest testimony ever told was, uh, I was blind and now I see. I was blind now I see six words. That's it. But what that statement led to and was birthed from, it was birthed from some dude walking down the street and it led to being excommunicated from the church. The reality of this relationship with Jesus was life changing. But it also meant that he had a new way of seeing the world his world was completely changed by one encounter with Jesus Christ. My hope is you have registered to speak at this event, to be caught on camera, to be shared with the entire world because, well, you have a similar story. Maybe you were healed from blindness. I don't know. Maybe you had a, a miraculous healing in your life. I, I don't know. Here's what I do know. The story that you lived through when you met Jesus, that transformation that took place in your life, there's someone in the world right now who's on the pre-Jesus side of that same story. They're living with the same pain, the same fear, the same hatred, the same loathing. They look in the mirror and they don't like that person. They go to bed at night in fear and torment. They hate the life they're living they just don't have a clue how to change it. If they knew how to make it better, they would, right? Remember the man next to the pool, Bethesda? 30 plus years he laid there. And the first question Jesus asked him was, do you, do you want to be well? See, there are people right now who are waiting to hear your story on Story Power TV, on World Trumpet TV, on Liftable TV, on social media platforms from their telephone to their home theater. And when you share your story, you may be the one voice, the one story that they heard that said, my life can be different. I so want to change. And so all I ask of you is that you be real. You be authentic, not offensive. You be honest about who you were before and who you are since Jesus came in. And then you keep that to a very small time. We're trying to keep slotted times to two minutes. Two minutes. I understand we'll have to have a little flexibility. Some people can't stop talking. Some people can't start talking in two minutes, much less stop talking in two minutes. We will be as graceful as we possibly can. We will have some speakers who are already designated to speak for 15, and they've been preparing themselves to speak for 15 minutes. There's only six or seven of those out of the 20 plus speakers who will be speaking. And that's just because we only have so much time in a day. I want you to come prepared to share your story in a way that people hear. I was blind, now I see. They hear the reality of transformation, the compassion, the grace and the mercy. One of my favorite pastors is a guy by the name of Dr. Robert Morris. We maybe have heard his name from Gateway Church in South Lake, Texas. And he says in a very unique way, I never got over what Jesus did for me. That's a profound statement. And I encourage you to consider what Jesus did for you. Have you gotten over it? If you haven't, good. Because that means you understand the depth of it. If you have gotten over what Jesus did for you, pray about that before you come to share your story. Bring it with you. Bring that freshness of the newness of Christ, that 
born againness that what were you the day after you realized that everything you've ever done wrong is cast as far as the east is from the west that's the heart i want to hear that's the story i want you to tell not the one that aggrandizes the devil not the one that points out the blame and the guilt and the mistakes of other humans i'm not saying those things aren't true to your story i'm just saying we really want to focus on who is jesus to you and why do i care if you can answer that question in the time allotted to you you will be golden and if you got a book if you've written a book if you've written your story if you've maybe been star in a movie because of your story we'd love to know that as well so that we can point people to that we will have executives from world trumpet there uh, they're slated to be there at least and we'll also have uh, Donna Skell from Roaring Lambs, who will be there to talk about testimony workshops and books that you can be published in, a space that you can share with her, with opportunities to promote your message all over the world, in addition to what we're doing with Story Power. So come prepared for that. And uh, man, I really look forward to seeing you Saturday morning. Worship will start at nine o'clock. Join us and uh, bring guests. We have plenty of space. We can have up to 100 guests. Our speaker slots are getting pretty full. But uh, love to have you and any fans or family that you'd like to bring with you. 